Today I'm going to be talking to you about eye protection. During the COVID-19 pandemic, eye protection is one of the key pieces of appropriate PPE that you need to protect yourself. There are many types of eye protection out there that we have in stock. Some of them come in reusable forms and many come in disposable forms. You've probably seen face shields, protective goggles, surgical masks with um, face shields attached and safety glasses is some of the examples that we use in AHS. Eyeglasses such as mine are inappropriate because they do not protect you from the tops, the sides, or the bottoms. So if you wear glasses, you must still have an appropriate eye protection on top. Staff may find single-use eye protection simpler to use because they don't have to go through a cleaning process in between patient visits. Selection of eye protection is based on several factors, the most important of which is the nature and extent of the hazard. So you have to assess the hazard, and to do that you need a clear understanding of your work tasks, um, including potential routes of exposure and opportunities for exposure. You do need to wear eye protection in any situation where blood or bodily fluids are involved. It's important to remember that most splashes occur when you least expect it. In terms of donning uh, eye protection, it's important that the eye protection is comfortable and it must allow for sufficient peripheral vision. As well, it must be adjustable to ensure a secure fit and the Eye protection must fit snugly against your face and cover any gaps where droplets could enter. It's important to wear eye protection properly. We have seen instances where people wear eye protection uh, with uh, glasses or goggles resting up on their head, as you might with sunglasses, uh, or other people wearing it around their neck between patient care. This really uh, invites self-contamination of yourself and so it's very important that you should wear eye protection as it's recommended and we don't want you adjusting it. Really eye protection is either on or off, there's no safe in between. In terms of supply of the various types of eye protection, we have sufficient supply via CPSM and we do not recommend staff bring their own eye protection as it's not been tested and approved by CPSM or AHS, and it may not actually protect you sufficiently. In terms of removal of eye protection, it's very important that when you remove it, you remove it by the side arms or the straps or ties and never actually touch the front of the eye protection. If it's a single use item, you dispose of the eye protection carefully and then clean your hands thoroughly for 20 to 30 seconds after removal. If you are using reusable eye protection, um, then you need to clean the reusable portion according to the manufacturer's instructions. And cleaning is to be done between each encounter with an isolated patient. And then, of course, after you clean the reusable, eye protection, it's important that you clean your hands. In closing, I would say that proper use of eye protection along with all of our other measures of PPE will protect you during patient care. This is one piece of protection that's essential in looking after yourself and protecting others at work. Thanks for your attention. Together, we do amazing things every day.